racing to the 2020 Preakness Stakes. And today I want to take a look at the possible pace scenario as we get ready for the 145th running of the Preakness Stakes to play out. And I think it's going to be a little bit different than the Kentucky Derby. Remember the key scratches to King Galarmo art collector and even thousand words a little bit because some people were putting him possibly in that pace presser role in the Kentucky Derby which pretty much meant even from that out tight post position authentic was going to be the horse most gunning for the lead now maybe even in that 18th post position it probably more confirmed that he was going to go to the lead but either way it played out now he did have to kind of rodeo it out and make sure to establish good position and then he was able to clear the field once a horse like Storm the Court in the Derby elected to drop back a little bit. And then by the half mile pull, Tis the Law had camped out in that second, third spot. So Authentic was the speed of the speed. He set fast fractions, but he was able to kind of open up just a little bit and nobody really challenged him at that half mile park. That was the big decision in the Derby. Now looking at this race, we've really only got one possible lone E and that would be authentic. We do have three possible pace pressers and uh, horses that could possibly go to the lead. I don't know if they wanna go wire to wire in this spot and that's New York Traffic who has been on the lead in a few of his races. Our Art Collector who went wire to wire in the Ellis Park Derby and then chased Swiss Skydiver in the uh, Bluegrass Stakes. And then meanwhile, you have Swiss Skydiver who set the pace in the Bluegrass Stakes and then she came from a little off the pace in her last couple of efforts. She did go wire to wire at Santa Anita when she was the class of the field. Overall, I think Swiss Skydiver wants to be more of that presser stalker type not the need to lead type and then you've got thousand words again with both horses trained by Baffert I think he proved in the Los Alfa uh, race that he could come a little bit from off the pace and Uncle Chuck just kind of kicked away from him that day so I'm going to put a uh, thousand words in that presser maybe stalker role and then you've got two horses in that stalker role in Max Player uh, he could be there with thousand words uh, going to be kind of interesting now those are the main players that I see the race now some of the outside horses you do got to kind of slot them in but a horse who I think was uh, hurt by the post position draw was live your beast life um, and then you've got a few other horses I just don't think are contenders so I'm not really going to put them into the pace scenario mix um, but if they wanted to get up there I suppose they could be a stalker or even a presser but I just don't see anybody else who really there's only two horses I could see going wire to wire in this race and that's either authentic or or art collector so that's the way I look at it as who's a horse that's capable of going wire to wire a mile and a quarter a mile and a three sixteenths um, Swiss Skydiver I know she's got some speed but she doesn't run fast when she's been on the front end she's actually been on the lead with slower fractions so you look at that Gulfstream race and you look at the San Anita race yes she was on the pace closer to the pace but she actually went slower and I just don't think a horse like Authentic can really even go slower than 48 to a half and a horse like Art Collector I just don't think wants to go slower than 48 to a half so those are some of the different scenarios that you got to think about as you look here to the Preakness stakes who do you see on the lead who do you think can be a wire to wire type winner leave your comment below quick note uh, both uh, authentic and thousand words shipping out of Churchill on Tuesday they'll arrive at the Pimlico on Wednesday so we're getting close to the nitty-gritty here as we start to look at the final couple days as we get closer to the 145th running of the Preakness Stakes remember hit subscribe share this video and ring that bell for notifications as we lead you up to Saturday's Preakness Stakes